Okay, so we're going to be looking at some jungle commentary today. I'm probably looking at playing some of those level 6 farm hard junglers. So these are going to be really similar to Nocturne because Nocturne is a farm till 6, no ganks before then. Uh, my current ban for these type of junglers is probably just something aggressive early game like a Lee Sin, a Jarvin. Um, Graves is also really annoying because he's just kind of power farms and out farms you, so that's just super bullshit. I want to go with a typical. Jarvan ban though, because Jarvan is just an aggressive early game jungler who can kind of just fuck with you, right? He'll have so much map pressure that before he can actually play the game, he's already ganked all the lanes and you've pretty much already lost. Okay, so we're going to be playing Master Yi. Um, Master Yi is kind of similar to Nocturne in that he can't really gank until level 6, right? His only ganking tool before level 6 is just to Q at you, and that's it. Um, he doesn't have any slows, he has no utility, all he has is a, a Q, and yeah, his ganks are fucking dog shit. That's basically what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> so we're just gonna be looking at a more farming gameplay until level 6. So this is gonna be really similar to what you typically do in your games. It's off. Um, whereas for runes for Master Yi. Now I don't know if I agree with Blitz. So a lot of junglers recently have been taking magic resist on Blitz. And I really don't understand this rune choice at all. Because armor is just like infinitely more useful in terms of actually clearing the jungle camps because every single jungle camp does fucking physical damage doesn't it i'll have to check but i'm pretty sure every single jungle camp except for gromp does physical damage i think gromp does magic damage and everyone else does physical damage oh wait what is this in s wait this is looney tunes every single person who plays fucking master e is going hail of blades with dusk blade oh my god what? What? This is actually ludicrous. Why do people do this? Wait, this build is so... Okay, whatever. Um, I guess we're just going to go with a super aggro build. So perhaps we actually just have significantly more of the game power. That is very interesting. We also have a quirky ADC. That is um, not normal. Oh, and... Okay, it's just not a normal game. He's taking Ignite Warwick top. You usually do barrier, but whatever. Yep, that works, that works. And Seraphine, whatever. So, as always, before the game starts, gotta look at lane matchups. The easiest lane to gank by far is mid lane, because TF has his fucking point and click stun card, which is so bullshit. And Echo has no way of getting out of the point and click stun card. So, if Echo's wave ever pushes away from him and he has to CS and CS. Uh, towards TF's turret, we can just gank him because he can just flash and we'll one shot him. Of course, this will be much easier pre six because Echo's only escape pre six is an E. Uh, Yorick top lane is also a really good gank setup because we have Warwick's ultimate and Warwick's fear. Those are two really bullshit abilities that are just hey, did you want to run away from my jungler? Fuck you. So, yeah, uh, we're not going to be ganking bot lane because it's fucking quirky, Seraphine, like. <laughs> I don't think oh my god oh it's quirky seraphine and the quirky is bronze uh it's okay I'm sure I'm sure you'll do great I'm sure you'll do great quirky I just I just won't be ganking you much right because quirky is really weak early game and he's also not that good of a player so what could potentially happen is that if I go gank the Kaisa Tarek lane and they have ultimate, I'm pretty sure we get 2v3'd. I'm like pretty sure they'll 2v3 us like super hard if they play it well. Which is why I'm not, just, just not gonna go there. I'm very not interested in getting absolutely slaughtered, I'm not gonna lie. That's not on my list. Um, playing against Vi, he has Hail Blades as well, so I probably don't want to meet him early. Uh, usually you'd want to meet people early in the jungle if you run Hail Blades, and not really, if like they're running it, because that fucking thing is bullshit um i would love to start topside here so i can like opposite jungle the uh vi right because if i starts bot side and i start top then we'd end up on opposite sides of the map when we finish clearing and i can trade and we can just like handshake scuttle crabs but i'm actually gonna be pathing towards top lane just in case the work pushes because the work has ignite so he's probably been playing aggressive early so i'm gonna just path towards top lane that way if vi's there i'm there as well and we win the 2v2 super hard because work is not a balanced champion against no anti-heal that champion heals such a ridiculous amount at level one level two like bro this motherfucker will literally hit you and heal for like 70 hp at level one it's so insane oh damn he's got a skin too what skin is that project damn that's actually expensive 
Okay, this leash is gonna suck a complete dog she dog at you though because it's Seraphine Corky. Which kinda sucks, but it doesn't really matter too much. We go for something super cheese, but I don't know if I want to. I'm just gonna clear from bot to top. And if Vi doesn't show, then I'll just clear back to here. I'll show you the jungle path. It's a pretty simple jungle path where you're able to essentially influence both sides of the map and come down from bottom scuttle. So, as always, the most important thing is hitting level 3. So if you do red buff, blue, gromp, you'll hit level 3. And the really good thing about this is that, like, if I see my top laner is pushing super hard, I can take wolves and stay. Why are they pinging my jungle camps? Does my bot lane want me to stay bot side? Fuck you. I refuse. Look at my top laner, dude. Look at this push. This war gives no fucks, dude. I actually have to stay top side, because he's just gonna get gank slaughtered. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably sit in this bush after doing Gromp. Because if Vi comes, he's just gonna die, which is not good. I haven't really been looking at other lanes because Work is kind of my top concern right now. His wave is pretty big, so he can probably stealth long enough to get for me to get there. Okay, so I wouldn't recommend this usually, because usually it should be hard farming. But I'm just going to go look for an aggressive invade and ward, that way, if we know if Vi's here. And yeah, so my work doesn't die. This is pretty much the entire point of this play. It's just so work doesn't die. I can also invade aggressively and see if I's at red buff, which I'm going to do now. Because I'm like almost full health with two smites, so. I'm pretty tanky. Nice! Okay, I just got a free red buff. Free red buff and buy flash, and she's dead. Yep, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good, and we get Krug. So that's basically what we get for just playing super aggressive early and checking her when I was just hanging around topside so we don't get a king. Right. Oh uh, yeah, I really am just this sweaty sometimes. I just want to make sure my poor work doesn't die. Also, we're diving this, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna dive this because he just died. Yeah, that's just a free kill. W to reduce the damage from the turret, and then we just leave. So we've cleared her, we've cleared her Krugs to fuck her over, and then I'm just gonna see if I can double scuttle her, double scuttle her maybe, because if the double scuttle actually lands after she dies early, loses Krugs and red buff, it's really bad for her, and the game's pretty much just entirely over. Um, if that doesn't happen though, I'll be rather unfortunate. And in case you're wondering, the same play that I just did actually can be made on Nocturne. Like, sure, Nocturne doesn't have an engage, but if you'll notice, Vi and I literally walked into the same fucking bush. So in that situation, Nocturne would actually be better than Master E, because you'd have a fear and like the Q bullshit. So yeah, you could have done the exact same thing on Nocturne if you really wanted to. And also the same like hovering in a bush bullshit predicting the enemy jungler. That's really, really good on Nocturne, because Nocturne is like super strong early game. He just only- okay, he got the scuttle. He just lacks a way to get onto people. And if you're sitting into a bush and they walk into you, then you don't need to get onto them, right? So yeah, nutty. Top lane's winning too. Nice. Probably just gonna double smite here so I can get back to base earlier. Because I have way too much gold. I wanna actually get out of here. Um this build that I'm trying to go is super early game aggressive, so I'm probably not gonna be doing that many camps. Fucking dusk blade on mastery with hail but What? The psychopath! He took bottom scuttle and took my Krugs. Wait, this Vi is so aggressive. Damn, she's actually a sentient player. So I'm just buying a control word here. Uh just in case I need it for anything. Okay, we see her here, so we know that she's doing raptors and probably gonna rotate through her Krugs, because we, we see it spawning. That's potentially some topside pressure. Right, so we're just gonna do wolves, and then look to shadow our work again, because he's going to get ganked. This motherfucker is pushing as fast as possible, it's crazy. I'm not gonna smite here, because Gromp heals you based on missing health, so... I'm just gonna smite the Gromp to heal, so I'm at full health when I... Jesus fucking Christ, you're losing solo. You're not even going to get ganked. That is so not good. And Echo's roaming. Might be topside. Nope, he's roaming bot side. Okay, we're just gonna go over here and predict the Vi gank, because it's probably coming. And even if it doesn't come, Warwick should hit 6 soon, which makes this play doable. What is this gameplay? Is he human? Do people do that usually? Um, that's very weird to me. What is going on? My work player does not look like a human player, so this is like kind of concerning to me. I'm wasting a lot of time here trying to save my work's life, but he's just like trolling. Uh, whatever, I'll just gank mid. 
Yeah, the Vi shows here. She's looking at potentially getting a bot gank or something. I'll just check her camps and then go down. Watch the W. It's whatever. He hits me. I don't really care. I'm just kind of walking through lane to make sure Vi can't steal this dragon for free. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't pressure anything top lane because Warwick was just doing god knows what in the top lane when he was going back. Okay, here is a very interesting situation where we need to fight. Nice, I didn't get it. Okay, I dodged it. I actually beat her here. The problem is when an Echo shows up. Uh, she's not gonna die. Yeah, he's not gonna die. That's fine. We can just get a free dragon for this. Because we just pressure two of them off in that fight. That was probably misplayed for me because I was hitting the Vi when the rest of the team was hitting the Tark. It's whatever it happens. No smite is kind of worrying, but it should be fine. How is work full health and no mana? Fuck. Okay, every single camp of my entire jungle is up. That is really bad, but I can't do them because I'm like... I don't know. I'm just gonna back here and then get some gold and then. Do I even? I feel like that back was the wrong decision. I kinda just wanna pick up more wards, not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna full clear here, because I'm not significantly ahead, so there's no point in me trying to jungle pressure, and all of my camps are up, so I might as well cycle them all. The mid lane gank doesn't look too good right now because TF's not in lane, so. Nothing to play for there. Bottom side, probably nothing to play for here because. Okay, never mind, there's something to play for here now. That... Okay, I'll do Krugs and then look potentially going bot side. Because these Psychopaths are like super low and super shoved in. This would probably work even without my ultimate. The only concern here is damage, actually. It's not even getting onto them. It's do I have enough damage to actually kill them? I don't know. I think I do. Seraphine has no ultimate, but she should hit it soon. And there's a potential that they just don't see me walking there. They should be able to, but they just might not have seen it because they're so big. Nice. Okay. So, Tark has no flash, we know that. He probably won't die though. Yeah, he's super tanky. I'm just not going to go for it. Nice, we just got a free kill there by noticing that they were playing super aggressive. They're trying to tower dive. They're looking for something. I'm assuming when Tark gets ultimate, they're going to try to dive that. Uh, only problem now is I don't actually know if my top side's being invaded because my work has given me no wards there. I can like make a prediction and say that it probably will be, but I'm just gonna check it anyway. Okay, no, we don't need that invading. So we see them on the control ward I put like three minutes ago. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna skip Raptors here because she is potentially invading me, and I'm not gonna give you my blue buff for free. Fuck you. I'm not trading Raptors for blue buff. That's not something I'm allowed to do. And also, if work actually comes and rotates for this, this is a free kill, like a hundred percent free. So we know she's like here right now. Yeah, okay, she left, she left, that's fine. Wait, what? She didn't leave? Is she crazy? I mean, she's in the back. I don't actually need to participate in that. I don't know why she's there. Bruh, you're not even fed. I should have smited that, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't think you would actually take it. <clears throat> so yeah, I would usually give blow. Oh wait a second, this is a really juicy top gank. He backed off for Corky of all fucking things to back off for. Okay, no, he backed off for TF. That makes more sense. There's still a gank to be made here in mid lane. I can probably show him. He's gonna W me, so I'm just gonna walk out of this bush. Okay, whatever. I catch a mid wave. It's fine. We stopped Echo from taking turret plates there, so even though I didn't do a camp, it's still worth it for me. Because if I wasn't here, he probably could have gotten an extra 300 gold off hitting this turret. Let's see how low it is. Unfortunately for him, the jungler came in to just fucking cuck him. Okay, we know Vi's bot side now because we just saw our top side take the camps and she had red buff. Nice, we're winning the game without me needing to do anything. I'm just gonna full clear, get my. Yep, there she is, bot side. I'm gonna walk into her jungle. I'm sure, she cleared top side, but should be respawning soon. My cards respawned around the time I saw her. They should be coming up. And she died again. I can just drop a control word. I'll probably put it like right there. Give us some vision. Maybe right here works. Yep, there's her camps. I could be doing my own raptors, but it's better to do theirs because die something. 
Top lane looks fine. I'll probably no, never go top lane again, because I'm pretty sure War can solo dive, so you don't actually need to be there. No red buff. Makes sense. Oh, uh, so you have to actually have to wait here, because the minions are walking across here. They can actually see you on Krugs if you walk across this wall. It's super fucking toxic. Hello. I'm gonna leave. I'll see you later. My top laner isn't here, and York is here, so there's no point. Yep, she sweepers it. Now does she come to check this? So right there, I just kind of shit on her by arming when she cute. Oh my god. I said I shit on her, but then I just stopped attacking her. I'm big brain. Big brain. I just stopped autoing because I was like, she's going to die. And then I forgot that Vi has a shield on her passive for whatever fucking reason. But yeah, another reason why I lost that is because I had a... Uh, this much fucking gold when I went into that fight. It's a terrible idea to fight with that much gold usually. I just did it because I'm a coin flip dumbass. 23 seconds on dragon, probably uh, raptors into dragon here. Yeah, I want to cycle my raptors because I haven't done that camp in forever. And we know Vi is dead again because she's just getting gooned. What is this? Who hit it? Oh, TF hit it. What the fuck? How did TF hit my raptors? Where is he throwing his damn cards? Okay, I'm just gonna move my control word. I'd prefer to have it on Dragon over that random ass fucking bush that she's not gonna walk over for the next three minutes because her top camps are all dead. Yeah, this is fine. We're gonna get it for free. Vi doesn't actually get to make it here before I take this. And we get a Rift Scuttler. Lovely. This was not intentional. I wasn't paying attention to Rift's Cutter Oh, wait, mid lane gang. Wait a second. Yeah, his ultimate's in a really bad position right now. Oh, this is actually super free. He's an ult back. Oh, no, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's just dead for free there. He, he tried to tower dive the moment I showed up. I, I don't know. He kind of fucked his play pretty hard. I don't actually have ultimates, this is pretty risky. Yeah, so my ultimate just burned out. But TF is right here with ultimates, so I'm pretty sure he can just roam to me if anything happens, which is fine. Da, 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 da. Vi is bot side, I don't know why she's ganking bot right now. Our top laner is losing, uh, somehow. Uh, I'm just gonna ping for the dive, this is super doable, even with no ultimate, because we are just both two very tanky motherfuckers that can one-shot him. He's also one in five. Oh! I... Okay. Imagine needing to help your top laner. Can't fucking relate. I could do Rift Herald here. I just don't place much value on Rift Herald because uh, turret plates have already dropped. I don't think it's very useful. I'd rather just do camps and like pressure the map, so I don't care about Rift. But you could do it if you wanted to. There's probably a Blast Cone right here that you can use to get over the wall. Okay, there's Vi spot in our control word. She's probably hitting it. She has one HP. What happened to her? Did she get 2v3 by Corgi Seraphine? What? Bleh, no way. That's very unfortunate, my dude. You lost to 1, 2, 3, 1, 6, 4, 6, 5, 9. SMH. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Hi, hi. Okay, yeah, we're, we're just gonna see if we can win this game by soloing Baron at minute 20. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking do it. At minute 20, I'm gonna go hit the Baron, and if I execute to it, then, um, we didn't see it. Understood? That's just going to be something that happens. I'm going to hit Baron at minute 20. Okay, potentially something I can do here is if I just... And TF's taking my blue buff. Lovely. Never mind. I was gonna say I could potentially double buff here, then go to Herald and ignore my camps because they're not useful. But then TF just started taking my buff, so it doesn't matter. My, my decisions are worthless. Come on, Vi. You know you want to go on that Seraphine. You know you want to go on Miss Numbers. Do it! Hit her, baby. Huh? Why are you so pussy? Why is she pussing out against the fucking Seraphine? It's kind of her own fault for uh, Arian so late, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't know why he didn't ult that. That was actually just super RNG. That fight was extremely RNG. It was just like, 
It was so coin flip because I was super low and they were also super low, so it was just like whoever got lucky wins that. I'm gonna take that because you've taken so many of my fucking blue buffs. Fuck you. Wait! He's losing? Okay, no. I thought they were gonna kill Kai's instantly there, so I just didn't even look for it. But then Porky died, so I got very concerned. Get a deep ward down after I take this camp. So Vi right now wants to shoot herself. She's lost so many camps to me. And yeah, it's a lovely game. Just hit this turret a little bit. Steal some of my TF's gold. Don't mind if I do. Look at that proximity gold stolen from my TF. Fuck you, TF. Don't take my blues, please. Please, sir. Oh, there's somebody in this bush. Okay, so the moment you moment I queue, that's just a mastery interaction there. Ha ha. <laughs> that's actually kind of stupid. Damn, I didn't expect her to actually be in the bush waiting for me. But um, it's a mastery interaction is when I queue, I drop aggro. So if the raptors start running to something else, and that means there's something else in the bush that they can aggro onto. Um, unfortunate. That was just a very greedy invade on my part. I'm playing kind of fast and loose with my lead. Because my team is winning, so we're probably just going to shit on them pretty hard. Like, nobody's behind. It doesn't matter. Thank you, TF, for taking my entire fucking jungle. Can you leave? What is this? What is this? We might actually lose if he just keeps on doing that. I mean, it doesn't matter because we get free dragon off of Vi just being topside, right? Uh, she could have cleared towards bot side now, actually. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I have Pryo on this, though. Bot Pryo here because they have no enemy. Uh, that's Yorick or Echo? I don't know. Okay, it's Yorick. If it was Echo, I would have to go there to save Corky's life because Corky loses to Echo pretty hard. And you can't run from Echo because he has Proto Bell and TP move speed, which is not balanced. So you actually have to finish Small Crux now because they buffed them, but before you could walk away. Now I'm just going to go to this, ping my TF's TP. So he knows that if, if I die here, I'll be very mad if he doesn't TP. Yep, there it is. Thank you. Thank you for TP. I would have been very mad if I died because Vi should have needed TP. You fucked your own resets, you should have been here on time, but whatever, TP allows you to do whatever the fuck you want, so it doesn't matter. Nice, now we're on Dragon Soul. For free, pretty much. I'm just gonna go to Rift Hill, pretty much directly. Because all my camps are down, since TF. TF did me the, the ple- had TF had the pleasure of fucking cycling all of my topside camps for me. AKA stealing them all. AKA I'm sad. Uh, well, I'll just do Rift Hill, it doesn't matter. York's bottom lane, I don't think they have a champion topside. I'm killing this so fast, I think I might actually build a solo Baron. Wait, no, not with Duskblade. Wait, Duskblade is so bad against Baron. Fuck it, I'll just hit Baron at minute 20 and into it. It'll be funny. I'm just gonna go topside here because like their entire team, like the entirety of their like strong members are bot side. So work and I can actually just Goodbye. Never mind. Work and I fucked our damage. Yeah, we fucked up our damage thing. We fucked up our damage comp, but did not get the kill that I thought we would get. Okay, this game is starting to look a little bit dicey. Just a tad. This is starting to look a little bit more than a little bit dicey. Hey, what are the chances I just threw the game? What are the odds I've been throwing the game the three times I died for playing super aggressive? No way, right? No way we lose this? No way. Nah. This isn't denial. This isn't... Bro, this isn't denial. It's just me being sure that we're gonna win. We're, we're gonna outplay them. We're totally not gonna creep. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is totally not lost. What are you talking about? <clears throat> yeah, so about the hitting Baron thing. I guess we're not gonna do be doing that because we're like actually losing. Just not ideal. Damn, Mastery deals so much damage with this build. Is this normal? Uh, Echo's gonna be like somewhere over here, probably. He's probably doing like rappers. I don't really care. No, he's not. Thank God. Stop! What is this motherfucker? What are you doing? 
Okay, this is just super toxic. When this happens, I'm just gonna... You know what? Fuck your minions. I'm just gonna take your minions. There's something wrong with this TF player. Like, he's doing this much in terms of stealing my shit, and he's still barely up on me. It doesn't make any sense. Warwick is overcommitting super hard. It doesn't matter. His The team isn't there for... Yeah, the enemy team isn't showing up on Warwick, so it doesn't matter he's overcommitting. In fact, we can pressure here because Warwick just got a free kill. So this will force Vi to come to us or Tarek, it doesn't matter. And if she stays here, we just dive her. Whatever. Yeah, it's a free dive. Dumbass. That's just super easy to do. You blew your fucking thingy with Bobber. Yeah, her invisibility thing, it wouldn't pop, so we just dive her there. She gets one shot. Don't know why she thinks she can take a mastery on Hill Blades. Like, I'm not a balanced champion, dude. This is a very funny play they're trying to make here. I don't think it works. Yeah. Like I was saying, I don't think it works. No, Shelly! Oh, Shelly died to minions. All oh, these motherfuckers, they actually got Shelly to fucking die because they just ran around like psychopaths. Do you have to just hit the turret, please? Nice, I'm so useless inside of that thing. I could have flashed out, I guess, but that's about it. Unfortunate, okay. They just kind of hard griefed that play. Like, we were losing and they just said, fuck it, we don't want to be ahead anymore. I'll take it, man. If you don't want to be ahead, I'll take it. We can just do Baron here and end the game because we have fucking... Oh my god, he didn't get it. Wait, he didn't get it. That's actually so bad. If we have two inhibitors here, we can do Baron for free because they have to spend. They have to send two champions to clear the super minions. Like, one top, one mid. But if it's only one, then we can't do it for free, because there's a potential we actually lose the fight. Uh, I guess we just have to go to Dragon then. Ah, it's really unfortunate, actually. Oh, bye TF! Nice, we just lost Dragon. Yeah, assuming they pressure for Dragon, we just lost it. Because TF just died instantly. For no reason. That is really sad. Um, it doesn't look like their team's pressuring Dragon for some reason. Which is good. Vi's in this bush. Like... Well, somewhere here. Yeah, no, no, we lost Dragon. We lost Dragon. There's no point. I'm just gonna go end the game. Yeah, I'm just gonna go take a Nexus. Oh, uh, take an Inhibitor. Because they are committing their entire team to this. I could potentially try and steal it. What? Hello? That never happens! Vi, you're not human! What? How? What the fuck, dude? You missed the Infernal Dragon and now you're losing the game because Mastery's back door and you don't even notice. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? What type of low elo ass game is this? <laughs> what the fuck, man? What just happened? Victory. They deadass did- They go to Dragon. They trade to Dragon for their fucking Nexus. And they don't even get it. They lose it to a Warwick. That's even worse than TSM. How? You traded Dragon for Bear. You traded Dragon for Base, but you didn't even get the fucking Dragon. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, on that happy note, we're just gonna say jungle diff. <laughs>